Okay viewers, we're back again on episode 3 with Paul and we're going to be setting up Smart Prozy on Okegbot. So if you've been following up from the episode 1 to 2, you practically understand what is going on. He just downloaded Okegbot and he wants to be driving traffic from different locations. So by default, if you're trying to generate traffic with Okegbot, it will generate traffic using your own IP address, which is the IP address of your computer. But now, you might want to be coming in or want to be driving traffic from different locations and only your one IP address might not be enough. So this is where a process server comes in. A process server is like a VPN, but just like a VPN would give you one location when you choose the location you'd want, a process server gives you lots of things called IP address. These IP addresses are basically what we put on OKEGBOT and then we can make each browser coming from a different location. With this process server and OKEGBOT, we can drive lots of views, impressions, increase our CTR, increase our CPC, make lots of money from AdSense because our traffic would not just look like it's coming in from different parts of the world, but it would look like it's coming in from places where the CPC is quite high. So right here on the screen, you're currently seeing Mr. Paul's Smart Prozy account. He would also open up the OKEG bots and I'm Dan Okechuka, I'll be the tutor and I'll be guiding him through. Now, if you want to know if this is lucrative, let me just give you a little walkthrough on my own Google AdSense account. So this is my own Google AdSense account and I will make a page refresh. I'm supposed to blow this. I'm supposed to blow something at the top, which would have, okay. I forgot to blow that, but I mean, that is it. I could refresh the page again for you all to see. Now, this is a live video. So now I'm back again with the meeting with Paul. Now, Paul probably isn't any much at the moment, but in the next few weeks, you would see Paul going off the roof. So part of this process is letting him know how to drive traffic from different locations. So I, for instance, I drive a whole lot of my traffic from the US. So I'll be showing Paul how to drive from the US. I would also be showing him how to drive from the UK and platforms or um, locations with high CPC. Okay, so Paul, let's head back. Have you been able to get a location or choose a location you'd want to be driving your traffic from? Oh, no. Okay, you have not uh, made an option of where you'll be driving your traffic from. Yeah. Okay. Um, click on where it says random. Random? Yes, click there. Now, yes. So now this is where you would be putting in the location you would want. So choose US. US, yeah. Yes. Okay. Now click there again. Okay. So now we have random. Now on the other side, you can see where it says ask. Where it says ask. No, on the after the USA, the second option says ask ASK. Okay. Now this is practically where it asks you for what mobile carrier you would want to be using. Now, let me ask you a couple of questions. In your country, what SIM providers do you have? Uh, now I'm in the UA, United Arab Emirates. Okay. We are okay. using Do. Do. Yes. Do like D-U-O. D-U. Okay, D U Do. Okay, so yeah. that's the name of the same provider. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So um in the in the US, I think they have lots of them. They have AT and T, we have um T Mobile, Verizone, and the rest of them. So on where it says um random, I would let you leave it at random. This is so we can simulate traffic from lots of different devices. Now let's yeah. head over to the next one. It says operating system. Yeah. Let's click on it. Now, and this... It, okay. Go on. Android and iOS. Yes, Android and iOS. Now, this is where it gets more interesting. On OKEG bots, you can create different kind of bots, different devices. You can create devices for iOS. You can create devices for Android. You get the point. So, now... Yes. We wouldn't leave it at random or we could leave it at random for now but moving forward i will teach you on how to get different multiple logins how to get a mobile um, um prosy 
just for the iPhone and the mobile process just for the Android. So when you drive traffic from okay, but cloning to be an iPhone, it would in return use an iPhone on smart proxy. I don't know if you properly understand what I'm trying to describe. Yes, I understand. Okay, so for now, we're going to leave it at random. Now, please head over to the next one where it says sticky for 10 minutes. Yes. Yeah. So now, what does this simply mean? Now, usually, when you want to get a proxy, majority of the times, the proxies are being given to you one IP after a while, another IP. Just like a VPN, if, for instance, you're using a VPN and then you choose the location of, let's say, the US, you know, at one particular point in time, the VPN could give you a specific IP from the US and then after a while, it changes that specific IP, you know, to some other IP, but yet still in the US. Now, basically, this same concept applies on proxies and on smart proxy, what this option simply means is, right now, every one minute, every 10 minutes, should the IP address change? So this simply means, okay. would you would you want them to give you an IP that would stay for let's say a minute, 10 minutes or 30 minutes before they give you another one? Or would you want it rotating? Now, because we're using OKEG bots and we want every single device to simulate a different um, location, but coming in from a mobile device and coming in from somewhere in the US, we're going to set it at rotating. So please click the rotating. Beautiful. Now, from now henceforth, we're practically done with all we need. Now, the remaining section of the video will be showing you how to do this and add this up to a okay, bot. So to do that, on the other side where it says HTTP, click on it. What, by the left, not yeah. HTTPS, HTTP. Yeah. Yes. Fantastic. So right now, you can correctly see you have your details over here. Please, I will recommend you change the password after this video so as to avoid the um, abuse of your proxy. Now, having said okay. that, I would want us to open up OKEG bot. Okay, beautiful. On the OKEG bot, click on the menu at the top. Now, click on the creator mode. Now, let's take a pause. You have practically learned in the past how to create a bot. You have also learned how to create a task, which is what a bot would perform. Now, yes. you'll be learning how to create what we call a location. So, by location, it basically means different points you would want to be executing a bot action from. So, when you create a bot and you create the actions they will perform, you could also create the different locations you would want them to be executing these actions from.